hands spread out on the dash. Running man, how I get to the cash? Hey, this hey, polo's Gucci, no Lauren. Uh, she said I'm too fly, be touring. Hey, Wrist looking like I poured it. Flat, James Harden, how I'm scoring. Uh, Riding the two when I hit to the bush. Eyes low, I be off for the cuz. BB's on, all I feel is the lugs. Pockets full, shit look like a bug. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Western Illinois Leathernecks Legacy on College Hoops 2K8. And today we are going to take on another conference foe. It's the Southern Utah University Thunderbirds. Now, we're pretty evenly in a match with them. We're hoping we can take them on nicely. It's a 4-2 ball game here early in Southern Utah. Their shooting was ready to go as Elias Partain with the three-point there. And they're up 10-6 now. There's another three-pointer. You definitely see this guy all the time on their squad in this game. There's Rainmaker. He would hit a nice three for us. There's Parting again as he's going to make another shot, make it a four-point game in favor of Southern Utah. And this Lodato, he was just dotting us up all damn day. Then we have Derek Gonzalez making the three, and then Southern Utah getting inside. They have a ten-point lead, but Gonzalez... Going to cut that lead down to seven. Now the lead is nine for Southern Utah, and Tyson Weber going to get that one to rattle in. 34-28 now, and here's Ames for them getting inside. 36-28 ball game, and then we get this thing to EJ Muller, but he is blocked at the end of the half. So it would be a 36-28 first half in favor of the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. Now, they're shooting way better than us, and they're doing way better from beyond the arc as well. They're also out-rebounding us by a little bit, so we have got to pick it up here in the second half. And E.J. Moeller going to drain that one from three, and then inside goes Sidney Jones. We got a 39-33 ball game. Tyson Weber with the steal ahead to Tyrell Rainmaker. He would go ahead and get the bucket for us. And there's a nice point from Parting with a nice shot right there. But inside goes Tyson Weber. Byfield with the foul. Weber with the and one. And it's a four-point game. And cut in half right there by Moeller. Byfield, though, would nail a three for them, making it once again a five-point game. But wait, Rainmaker going right in. Nobody contesting him. It's a three-point game, and Gonzalez is going to tie it midway through the second half. Tyson Weber going to get inside, and we are going to take the lead with the and one on the foul from Byfield. Then Sidney Jones going to get inside and get the and one as well. There's Ladato, and he's going to nail a nice shot. He'll make it a three-point game. Tyson Weber going to nail a three, getting it back to a six-point game. But they would go ahead and nail a three. It's back to a three-point game. They also get inside right there, parting with the points. It's a one-point game now, and a nice little step back, giving Southern Utah the lead here with four minutes to go, and that one would bounce in from Rainmaker. Now a 63-61 ball game, and with the rebound and the putback, we have a tie game at 63. Gonzalez going to nail the outside shot, make it a three-point game. Then the steal here. And that's Rainmaker to the house. Coast to coast, going to be a 68-64 game now. And Tyson Weber with the points. 72-66 inside for E.J. Moeller. Now 74-66 and Parting hitting the outside shot. Getting that thing close. Now a three-point game and Western Illinois trying to run this thing out. Surprised that Southern Utah not fouling here. But nice shot hit there from the corner by Rainmaker. And we will take the victory by five. Tyson Weber will be your player of the game with 18 points. He was 6'11 from the floor, 4 of 4 for his free throws, 2 of 7 from the three-point line. Three rebounds, five assists for him as well. There's Laudato. He had 18 points. Parting had 20 points in this one. 11 for Dickey. And then their center, Perry, had 7 points, 12 rebounds. Looking at us, Rainmaker with 16 points, his best game of the season. 18 points from Tyson Weber, obviously earning player of the game honors. EJ Muller was not on his sharpshooting today at all, 
but he provided enough points for us. Sidney Jones with nine, eight for fundamentals along with seven boards. 12 points for Derek Gonzalez. Now we move on to UMKC, and we're going to see how we fare in this matchup. And in the sim, it's not looking too good as we are going to go down 81-68. to 68. Stephen Curry with four points. Derek Gonzalez with 18 points in the ballgame. Uh, Tony Medicine provides 9-0 from Boyd, 10 from Tyson Weber, 2 from Aries McKnight, 9 from Sidney Jones, and 7 from Fun Dementals. Looking over at their squad, a lot of double digits, 14, 14, 13, 12, we're not going to get it done if that's what's out there on the floor. Their field goal percentage far outweighed ours. We deserve to lose that game. And now against San Diego State, we'll see what happens in this ball game. And San Diego State off to an early lead. And then we take the lead in the second half. There we go. We come out with it. We were way better from three-point. We had a little bit better field goal percentage. We had more rebounds and assists and steals. So we did fairly well in that ball game. Looking over at them, 15 points from Lane. There's 11 points from Burton. Sorry, RMP, wasn't enough. 11 points from Derek Gonzalez, 11 from Tony Medicine, 11 from Tyson Weber. So everybody with 11 out here. There's 15 from Sidney Jones, a huge game from him fundamentals with 11 and 8 boards so good contributions the next game that you guys will see is against North Dakota State and they are a 9 and 4 club so looking forward to seeing what they bring in the matchup we'll give you guys a little stat update here Tyson Weber leads us in points per game with 13.8 as you can see there is everybody's points per game totals Gonzalez, Moeller, Jones, Rainmaker, Fundamentals, Tony Medicine providing 4.6 off the bench, 4 for Stephen Curry off the bench, and of course we have our three red shirts. Now rebounds per game, Fundamentals obviously going to lead that, but Tyson Weber doing strong with that. Assists per game, obviously Rainmaker in the lead there. Steals per game, Rainmaker as well. Moeller not too far behind. There's minutes per game. Tyson Weber plays the most of anyone. So we will... Let's just see field goal percentage. Look at that. Bowman with the number one field goal percentage. Cindy Jones, Rainmaker, Fundamentals, Tyson Weber. Three-point percentage, it's Rainmaker, it's Gonzalez, it's Weber. So those are our guys. Now we'll look at the top 25 poll in the media poll. Georgetown, the number one team in the nation. UNC, Vanderbilt at number three. Memphis, UCLA, Kansas, Georgia, Louisville, Marquette, Oregon, Pittsburgh, Kentucky, Stanford, Texas A&M, Xavier, Arizona, Florida State, Michigan State, Texas, Wisconsin, Washington State. That's an odd one. Providence, Cal, Tennessee. Now we'll look at the mid-major poll here. We got VCU obviously up there. Appalachian State, George Mason, Southern Illinois, who... Did we beat them? I don't remember. Let me know in the comments. Did we beat them? We might have beat them. Bradley, Utah State, St. Mary's. There's the Vermont Catamounts, Drexel, Northern Iowa, Austin Pay. So a lot of good ones there. Now, here is our conference. We are 5-7 and seven overall, 2-2 two and two in the conference. Nobody in our conference outside IPFW and ND State have winning records at the moment. So that's kind of interesting. But that's going to do it for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to drop a like on your way out. Please subscribe if you are new. Let me know if you think we even have a chance in this conference this year. I don't know if we do or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all on the very next episode.